Listen to this theremin ass song. That was a theremin ass song right there. The Fly Guy 5 Memories of Kailua? I mean, that's a theremin ass song right there. How you guys doing today? I'm here! I'm here. I'm ready. We're all here. Monday again. TGIM, I guess. The Garfields are not going to be happy. The Garfields are losing today. Every day that it is a Monday, the, the Garfields lose. The Garfields always lose on the first day of the week. They always lose. I was stressed and now I'm ready to relax. Hey, I love hearing that. I love helping you guys relax. It's my favorite thing to do. We're all Garfield in some cosmic sense. Uh, yeah, you know, I might agree with that. I think that's probably that's probably why Garfield has stood this stood the test of time and become such an iconic cartoon character is he's relatable. We relate to Garfield. We relate to the part of him that loves Italian food and likes to eat and likes to be a big pig and gorge himself. We re we relate to his laziness. We relate to how he hates Monday because we all hate Mondays. You know. It's a little Garfield in all of us. We relate to how he ha he hates going to the vet and getting a suppository put up his butt. <laughs> we re we relate to the strip where uh, John drinks the dog semen. That's how it always goes. That's how it always goes with Garf, with our friend Garf. You look great today, Max. You're glowing. Am I glowing? Do I have a glow? Would you guys say I'm glowing and I have a glow? Would you say that about me? Maybe I'm pregnant. Isn't that what they say about women when they get pregnant? They say that they're glowing? <laughs> Max, don't forget to turn on streamer mode. We're just playing more Peach today. It's just more Peach. Don't worry about me. What's your opinion on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? I love it. It's really funny. It's a great show. It's a fun little show. Haven't seen it in a while. Haven't seen it in a few years, so there's probably a, a big batch of episodes that I've missed out on. I'm sure if I went back, I would probably have like 20 or 30 episodes to catch up on. I think the last one I saw involved uh, the gang going skiing, and if, I remember it had like a full sex scene between like some porn star and Charlie, and I as I was watching it, I was like, I can't believe what I'm seeing. They're really showing Charlie fuck this woman. I couldn't be like, it was such a graphic scene. They showed her titties, they showed her ass, they showed everything. And I was like, hey, you know, I love the show. I love Charlie, he's a funny character. I don't know if I wanted to watch him, you know, lay pipe, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Have you guys seen the episode? Do you know what I'm talking about or do I sound crazy right now? They all go skiing, it's a skiing episode, and there's a scene in the middle where they have a sex scene with Charlie and it's so graphic. I couldn't believe how much they were <laughs> how much they were showing. I was like, what? They show the humping, the thrusting, they don't show Charlie's dick, obviously. They wouldn't go that far. Hey, what's up? It's your favorite tyrant. I have a killer hint over on top of Clone 5. Oh, I'm sorry. I, will me of all I will try. Have a good stream. Keep with you. I will try. I will try to heal you as best I can. You know, I am a healer. I've healed so many people before, and I will continue to heal all of you. Con Crud. What is Con Crud? I think I've heard that before. Is that when... You go to a convention, and you just get, like, whatever sickness is going around at the convention? What is con crud? I once heard this guy groomed kids back in 2021. Why is he still around? Oh, thank you. Also, 
I don't think those are dead flies. They look like birch seeds. They are. Anyways, have a great stream. Uh, some of them are the birch tree seeds, but also some of them are actual dead flies. There's like, if you if you get in close and you look at the paintings, it's like they have a, a bunch of all different sorts of crud stuck to them. Con crud, if you will. Um, and, you know, we don't want con crud on our paintings. Uh, so I took the paintings, I put them in a box, and I put a, a window screen on top of them, and I think that should block out any of the con crud that might be sticking to them. Um... But I had no idea. Man, let me tell you, Bob Ross doesn't warn you about that. $9.99 from Little TVant. Con crud is just general sickness you get after going to a convention. Also, WTF, I didn't get a kiss. Mwah! There's your kiss. Just a general sickness you get after going to a convention? Is it like... Is it like a sickness that's going around at the convention? Or is it like... Just a general sense of fatigue? Like, what could con crud be? Like, oh man, I had- I, I- I did so much stuff over the weekend. You guys all sick today? Everyone is sick? From Zaki. Max, it's me, do you remember? You need a better eye chat voice, please. I'm playing getting over it, and I'm at sheer eyes slow, holy fuck, because please? Mwah. And you guys love your kisses. Yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna have a, a new a new uh, AI voice on Wednesday, a new text to speech voice on Wednesday. We'll see. I'm still trying out different options. We might have to go back to Monster TTS if I don't find anything that works better. Um, but you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's all put a kibosh on the super chats for now, even though I do appreciate them because they're very generous of you guys. Because we do have to get into it. We're gonna relax today. I'm sorry that so many of you are sick. You know, you guys are all very sick, I suppose. I don't know why. Oof, and there- and- and- and we just get some super chats. Every damn time. Why did you change your content so drastically? I don't know what you're talking about. I've been a streamer for ten years. You must be confusing me with somebody else. Skipped my funeral to watch stream? <laughs> so worth it? You skipped your own funeral?! Everybody knows you don't skip your own funeral! They need you there! They're gonna open the coffin, it's gonna be empty! You have to be there! You're the guest of honor! I've never, <laughs> I've never heard somebody say they skipped their own funeral before. <laughs> My dude, you gotta go. You gotta be there! You can't not go to that! It's all about you! It's your big day! You can't skip that! What are you, nuts? I skipped my own birth, Lamau. <laughs> you know what? That one you can skip out on. Frankly, your mother would probably prefer it if you did. If you skipped your own birth, your mother would probably go through a lot less pain that day. Um, but then you wouldn't be born. And that's a problem in and of itself. That's a problem I don't even know how to solve. How do you solve that? Anyway... <laughs> Enough Wixlin- Wixlin Dixies. No, I'm not correcting that. Wixling Dixies. That's just how I say it now. Everybody, please bow your heads and clasp your hands. You don't have to close your eyes, but if you feel it helps, go for it. Dear Relaxus, please help to relax us. Help us to sit back, unwind, unstress, decompress, breathe easy, hang loose, cool off, loosen up, and simmer down. Please bless us with mellow moods and chill vibes as we hang out, shoot the shit, and just straight kick it. Give us the strength to ignore politics, drama, and the tragedies of our modern world, and grant us the serenity to forgive those on social media who post things that make us triggered, upset, and emotionally compromised. And as always, help me to wish harmony to those who wish harm on me. Amen. Let's finish off our prayer by doing some square breathing. This is when you inhale and outhale at similar intervals, and we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And we're going to do a count of eight. If you can't breathe through your nose, using your mouth is fine too. Starting off, in through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once more, in through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> Much better. How does everybody feel? Wait a minute, I'm at the toilet. Well, you know, you can you can relax at the toilet. You can relax on the toilet. On the toilet, at the toilet. When you say at the toilet, it makes it sound like you're just kind of near it. You're not necessarily using it. Um, but, you know, it's uh, your toilet time, that could be a nice kind of reprieve away from the modern world as well. We all need to relax. We all need an escape. Ten dollars from gravity balls. I'm not sick, but I do have a back injury. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to start physical therapy for it. But hey, yeah? it just means more pay time to be home while I'm looking for a new job. Also totally happy to see you. Tonight. Oh, thanks. I'm happy to see you too. Thank you for joining us today. I hope your back doesn't hurt too bad. Let's all try to let's all try to forget our, our physical ailments. You know, it, it, we, we, we have these meat bodies, and they're not great. They can often get sick, they break down, you know, we have our aches and our pains, but relax with Max is when we kind of distract ourselves from that a little bit. A little bit! Not entirely, but a little bit. And now, to look upon my desktop, where I'm sure nothing awaits me. I'm sure there is going to be no bad news. Oh, shoot. Oh, fuck. AI generated Sonics again every damn time. Who keeps putting these here? I'm so damn sick of these AI Sonics on my desktop every damn time. You know, I'm the one who has to clean these up. It can only be me. It was Goofball? Yeah, it might have been Goofball, I don't know. Okay, well, don't do that. Five pounds from P. America, yeah. Hello, D. Hi, Max. I love you, love Peachy Eye. P. Two hearts. I give monies. Well, thank you for, give it, for giving monies. I do appreciate when I receive your monies. And America. Yes, I agree. America. <laughs> America, yeah! America, yes! Anyway, let's gangbang this and get it over with. If we do it quick, we can get, o get it over with pretty fast. And then we can get to, you know, more Princess Peach Showtime. Now, if I recall, all of today's Sonics are uh, based on games that we've played before. That I've played before on stream. So this is the uh, the first Sonic of the day. <laughs> Here we have Sonic. He's, he's really blubbering. Um, he's not just crying, he's also drooling. And there are tears even dripping out of his spike here. Uh, and he's holding a plate of meat with a pair of glasses on it, and he's saying, I'm sorry, Anatoly. So this is a reference to the, uh, the hit game, Cooking Companion. Was Cooking Companions a hit game? I don't know. It deserved to be, because it was amazing and I loved it, and I had so much fun playing it. I've never played a game like that before. It was amazing. It was incredible. It was transcendent. I transcended when I was playing it. But what would happen if Sonic got trapped in a cabin in the woods and he had to <laughs> he had to eat his friend Anatoly? Would he be able to do that? Bro's missing a few teeth. Yeah. It's a bit of a fucked up mouth. The mouth situation is a tad fucked up for Sonic here. But Sonic, Sonic having to resort to cannibalism. That's certainly weird behavior of him, I think. 
and I wouldn't say the image is cool, and it's definitely not cute. It is... It is technically illegal. I don't think there's a single country on this planet where cannibalism is not illegal. And if there is, please don't correct me on that, because I don't want to know. I don't want to know where you can go where cannibalism is legal. I don't want to know where that is. So do we want to say this is illegal, or do we want to say... Do we want to say this is weird? It is also weird. But you only, you only resort to cannibalism when you have to. And if you are in that situation... And you're 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 doing some cannibaling. Would you go to jail when you're out of those dire straits? You do it when you're when you're stranded in the wilderness somewhere. That's an interesting question that I've never thought about. If I was stranded up on top of a mountain somewhere, and I had to I, I had to resort to killing one of my one of my traveling companions and eating them, would I would I get in trouble for that? If it was the only way that I could live? Is it just self-preservation? And the law would turn a blind eye to that? Cannibalism is illegal, so put it there. He's put it on a plate. It's not, it's not like he was struggling. You're never in such dire straits that you can't use a plate. You always have to use a plate. Calm down, Donner Party. Yeah, this is Donner Party Sonic. Listen, just because you're starving in the wilderness when you're stranded up on the top of a mountain or in a cabin deep in the woods, that doesn't mean you don't still use a plate. You're not an animal. Sometimes you gotta use that plate. Well, you always gotta use the plate. But sometimes you gotta eat somebody. Um... It's a weird situation for Sonic, but I guess it, it probably is more illegal than anything else to kill somebody and eat them. And so for that, I'm gonna put this right in with the illegal boys. And the devil is waiting for him in hell. Five dollars from Zaki. Cannibalism isn't against the law in the US, just unaliving people. That can't be how that works. You can get in trouble even for tampering with a body. You can get in trouble, you can get in legal trouble. It's an offense to tamper with a body that you didn't even kill. So if you're if you're committing a cannibalism, you're definitely going to get in trouble for that. Unless you're in a situation where you have no choice, in which case they might show you leniency. <laughs> if someone donate their meat, you can eat it. That's not that can't be how it works. Here we have an Omori Sonic. This is Sonic uh Sonic right before he pushes his big fat sister down a flight of stairs and kills her in cold blood. And the devil will be waiting for him in hell when he does that, inevitably. Because if there's one thing that we took away from Omori... It's that even though Omori didn't plan on killing his sister, it wasn't premeditated, he wanted her dead in the moment. And so the devil is waiting for him in hell. His hand is missing? No, it's just behind his back. I think so, anyway. <laughs> oh. I mean, I guess the game was more ambiguous about that. Uh, my my takeaway was that... Sanamori? Yeah, kinda. Um, my takeaway was that... He probably did want her dead in the moment. They were having a, a very passionate fight. A very passionate argument. And he pushed her, because in that moment, he wanted her dead. And that still counts as, as murder. Is he scratching his butt? I don't want to think about Sonic scratching his butt. I really don't. It's not, it's not a thought that I enjoy having. He's very... He's, he's, he's got, a, he's got a, a shorter body. He's got more chibi proportions. He's got the tiny hands, short legs, short arms. Um, and a lot of the artwork in Omori was very cute, even though overall it's a, it's a very dark game. 
But I think this is a cute image, so I'm putting it in with the cute Sonics. Next up, moving right along. We have Sonic on a computer desktop saying, let's play a game. I think this must be a reference to Kanito Pet, yeah? That's all this could be is Kanito Pet. Two mouths, yep. That's something that we see frequently with AI Sonics is sometimes they get a mouth on both sides of their face instead of just one. Double mouthed freak. Oh, we don't have to call Sonic a freak. I would love kind of like a Sonic version of Kinito Pet. They're making a, a, a Sonic version of uh, Fall Guys, but I think it might be only going to mobile, which is kind of disappointing. Because I don't play a lot of mobile games, except for like Crossy Road, I think is the only one that I play. I don't want to have like an online experience on a mobile game. I would I would much rather do that on PC or on console. Have you guys seen this? What's it called? Sonic Sonic Toys Party? I think this leaked. I don't think this has been officially announced yet. It looks so cool, though. Well, this is an ad for something. For, for a Doctor Who movie that I didn't know existed, but I'm not interested in that anyway. Look at this. Let me turn the audio off. I would love to play this. I just don't want to play it on a phone. Oh, you can even play as Eggman? Oh, it's a cute little baby Eggman! Most of the characters are Sonic, but whatever. <laughs> it's just a bunch of Sonics over and over again. I think this is a leak. I don't think this has been officially announced, right? I would love to play this, just not on a damn phone. Kind of feel like they're shooting themselves in the foot. And didn't they didn't they do this like just last year? They announced a new Sonic game that was for phones only, and everyone was like, ugh! Ugh. Sonic is for home consoles only. We don't want to see him on a phone. I really do feel like smartphone smartphone games and like smart device games, they're kind of like a different beast than a PC game or a console game. And you kind of don't want there to be a lot of crossover. You know, the kind of games that you have on your phone, they're, they're, they're just like, they're better suited for different experiences. Like Crossy Road. Yes, but it was only for iOS. That was right. Anyway, the Sonic is weird. That's right, you are correct, sir. Weird Sonic. Last but not least, <laughs> this is a... Uh, this is Sonic saying, I found Larry. And uh, this does a very good job of kind of emulating the style of Let's Find Larry. I had fun with that one. That one that one was a fun little excursion, I think. It's got kind of fucked up spikes. The spikes are not looking so hot. But where does a Sonic like this go? Hmm. While I contemplate this, I'll take a bite of my hard-boiled egg. Sonic Forces Speed Battle is a great mobile game. Oh, what was that? What was that Sonic game that I got really into for a few years? Was it Sonic Dash? Is that the one I'm thinking of? I'm not sure. Sonic Runners? No, it wasn't Sonic Runners. It's not a game where you're running to the side. It's a game where you're running forward. You're running straight ahead, and the camera is behind you. I think it was Sonic Dash. Um. Let's find Larry. Where is that man? Let's find Larry. Where is that man? Hey, what's up? 
finally managed to catch one of these streams. I see you've got TF2 on your desktop, so question. I do. Have slash, would you consider a TF2 stream? Mwah. Mwah. You know what? I think you guys have been asking for that long enough. I think it might be might be time for me to finally give you what you want. If you guys want to see me play TF2, then I might have to eventually do that. Of course, the problem is then you guys are going to know how bad I am at it. And that's going to be embarrassing for me. And I don't want you to know that, but you'll have to know that. Because then when you see me play it and you'll you'll realize how bad I am at it, there will be no denying it anymore. So I'm not crazy about that idea. Um, where, where have we put our Sonics today? We had one illegal. We had one cute. We had one weird. I don't know where this one should go. So maybe just for... Uh, just, just for satisfaction's sake... We should put this in cool. Because then we'll have one of each kind of Sonic today. And honestly, there's no reason why this Sonic isn't cool. I think this is a pretty cool Sonic. It's not uncool. Larry, I don't know if I don't remember if this is what Larry looked like. I'm I'm guessing not. I don't think he I don't think he had this long hair. This weird ego raptor haircut. Um He's definitely not happy about being found. Yeah. In with the cool Sonics it goes. We had one weird, one illegal, one cool, and one cute. And that's crazy satisfying. Five euros from Rodas underscore off shed. Completely unrelated, but even if you do have TF2, have you played all of the Half-Life games? If possible, to even make a video on it either. I love Half-Life. And yes, I've played them all. Even Half-Life Alex, which was incredible. It's an incredible experience to play Half-Life Alex. <laughs> Got halfway through saying Half-Life Alex and I forgot what the last word was. And now look at this! Spick and span, neat, clean, tidy, and trim. That's a clean desktop right there. There's nothing happier than a clean desktop. That is as happy as desktops get. Anyway. Peach time. Peach time. Ooh, it peach time. Now last week when I was playing this... I was playing this peach game. My desk, my 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 switch turned off randomly. <laughs> it powered off. The battery depleted. Even though. Oh, and look how cute she is. Even though. It was literally plugged in, and so I've done it. I I changed a few things because there's a few things it might have been. HDMI two on the TV for this. Yes. Um, the first problem might have been that I was not using the, uh, the proprietary AC adapter for the Switch. Apparently the, uh, the USB-C that comes with the Switch is like a little stronger than a regular USB-C, which is what I was using. And so now I switched it with the cable that came with my Switch. Um, and then another problem might have been that I had the Joy-Cons plugged in. And when you do that, it's not just charging the system, it's also charging the Joy-Cons as well. So now the Joy-Cons are unplugged. So we're gonna see how that treats us. And hopefully it doesn't power off randomly again. <laughs> Alright, let's blast open this door with the power of sparkle. Can you give me some of the sparkle gems you've collected? Why, I would love to. Give Stella 15 sparkle gems. Yes! I have 43. Oof, looking determined. I think I fight a boss in here, yeah. I'm guessing it's not going to be too hard. God, I hope I wear a cute outfit. Please let there be a cute outfit. So is this like a Mario Galaxy sort of deal? No, I've, out of all the games you could compare this to, Mario Galaxy would not be one of them. 
Oh, is, is it the Grape Lady? It is! Well, 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 if it isn't the scared little rodent who have been scurrying to and fro about my theater. What do you think about my productions? Have you been enjoying my terrifying show? Are you working on any projects? Uh, maybe one or two things. Nothing I can announce right now. Hmm. Ha! And so that later, a little bird told me that you two have been kicking up some dust! She would definitely have a mid-Atlantic accent, I can tell. I also heard you managed to save a sparkler I went to great pains to imprison. Stop pointing at my hair, please. Your efforts are adorable, but saving one puny sparkler doesn't change anything. What are you even? Do you have no arms? You just have floating hands? Fang, entertain our pesky guests, will you? I'd like to review their performance. Uh-oh. Fighting a snake. I see the Darkle within him. I sense the Darkle. I sense your Darkle. Your Darkle, I can sense it. Okay, he's shining a light. I don't love that. Do I stay out of the light? Light bad? Light good? Oop, baby snake coming at me. Just make it evaporate. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he see me, he see me! Yep, that do hurt me. It, ooh, what happened? He sent me back in time? Okay. Oh yeah, there are clocks everywhere. Ow, nope, tried to jump on his head, didn't work. Alright, so when he see me, time travel no worky worky, so I avoid his line of sight. Does this do anything? Yes! Oh, he didn't like that. The Darkle! The Darkle! Cure Darkle with Sparkle. Cure Darkle with Sparkle. Cure Darkle with Sparkle. <laughs> this game is goofy. This Darkle ass, Sparkle ass game. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. I think I'm- I think I'm doing good so far. Just gonna keep making my way up. Whoop. Nope, still sees me. Ugh! Alright. What do I have to do? Hmm. He's moving- he's going in a pattern. Down, right, down, and then up. So, I go underneath this way. Jump, jump, yeah! Hit the light bulb, absorb the darkle. Stop, hit it, there you go. There you go, Peachy. Oh yeah, peach time. Oh yeah, peach time. Take that. Thank you! Don't. No! Ah, don't! I feel like this is the first time the game has actually asked something of me. This little platforming section and don't get caught. Alright, that's something. Hey, that's something. Okay, if I hit the tiny bulb, I can like stun him. And I go for big bulb. Yes! His Darkle falls out. Hit the Darkle. 
tap sparkle button. Yes! Goofball woke up, then disliked what you were doing, so he went back to sleep. Well, you know, he can suck it up. I'm sorry I don't make your approval. I don't meet your high level of approval, Goofball. I'm just playing a game. Just, you know, minding my own business. Yeah. yeah. So Grape is the one responsible for all the trouble in our beautiful theater. Yeah, we've known that since the beginning. There was never any doubt. It was only ever her. Thank you. She and her motley bunch are ruining our plays. Grr, I won't stand for this. We can't allow them to do whatever they want to our beloved theater. Let's restore the rest of the plays as quickly as we can. Hmm. hmm. Okay, peach time. Peach time. That was no sparkle. More like blargle. Okay. All right. You say so, bud. Five dollars from Terrence. Since they swapped the Mario voice actors recently, they did. imagine if it came full circle and Peach was voiced by Kira Buckland Rena Chan from Brawl Taunts. I thought you were gonna say, imagine if Peach was <laughs> was voiced by Charles Martin Hay. <laughs> that would be great. That would be funny. Of course, I don't know how a man in his seventies would 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 be great at a character like Peach, but. And not only that, but he's got like a deep voice, doesn't he? We got Fish Peach. You know, switch it up. Have Charles do Peach now. Why not? We've got more Baker Peach. I'm sure someone will clean up this floor too. I hear you've been helping us. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, is that more Cowboy Peach? Yeah, it looks like it. And... I'm not sure what that is. Punch? Punch Time Peach? Boxer peach throwing a throwing a punch peach Let's try Let's go for the new one. The new one is fish peach. I guess the I guess boxer peach might might be new as well I do want to try fish peach though Ninja kung fu peach yeah, maybe we already did ninja peach so that doesn't seem likely but kung fu peach maybe Melody of the Sea. Hank. Peach time. Peach time. Oh, peach time. Oh yeah, it's peach time. This play is everything mermaids. It includes a very talented singer with a stunning voice. Oh, there's a concert today. Let's go see the singer perform. Oh, I love the visuals on this level. Oh, it's so beachy! We have Beach Peach. I love it. Are you here for the concert too? <laughs> You're a mermaid! You are in mermaid mode! That's so cute. The concert's going to be glorious. The singer is going to perform today. Something tells me it's gonna be me. Can I get that coconut? Yes. Thank you! Let's all sit together. You're fish, how are you gonna sit anywhere? I dare you to come this way, huh? Hey guys, what you up to? Heh, <laughs> slow and weak! How horrible. Cheer up, turtle friend. Wakey wake. Can I can I jump on Turtle or our singing helped thanks to you. Turtle friend will give you a ride as thanks. I do jump on Turtle. Off we go. Fish Peach just sounds like one of those ex extensive food dishes that doesn't taste very good. Uh, maybe. I've heard the singer's cove is nearby. You don't say. 
Am I gonna get there and I'm gonna be the singer? We still can't go in. I'm gonna be the singer. I'm gonna do some singing. Maybe something happened. We ask for your patience. Where did the singer go? It's almost time for us to start. We can't hold the concert without the singer. Where could that sparkler be? I will fill in! I will be the understudy. I don't see why not. I do have a beautiful voice. Thank you! For coin! All I need is an outfit. Where's the outfit? Give me that outfit. Could this be the singer's cove? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Please be cute. Oh yeah, here comes an outfit. Please be cute. Come on. Cute, 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 cute. Give me that cute peach outfit. Let's go. Ta-da. That's pretty cute. It is pretty cute. I remember... I remember seeing... I remember seeing this one in one of the trailers and being confused about her not having a belly button. <laughs> but it looks like they gave her a belly button uh, in the final version, which is good. Because it means that she wasn't grown in a test tube. Because as we know, when somebody doesn't have a belly button, the explanation can only be that they were grown in a test tube and they, they weren't... They weren't naturally grown in a in a in a in somebody's stomach, in somebody's womb. Urk. Hello, hello. Thank you all for your patience. The band is here now and ready to begin. Welcome to our concert. We've got some special songs for you today. For our first song. Uh oh, something's rumbling. I hear a rumbling. Uh oh, lights out. <laughs> More little dudes being kidnapped. Hey Max, huge fan. Well thank you, Undertale Heaven. I hope that when I die someday I can go to Undertale Heaven. <laughs> Please, you have to save the band. Oh, how do I control this? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. So I can't... I can't go forward and back. I can only go left, right... Oh, hey, Wolfo. Left, right, up and down. I hit button to sing. Oh, and when I sing, I control fish. And the fish are in the background. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I love the implication. Where are they? Where are they? Hey! Hey, follow! This way, okay. Oh, this is gonna be used for some kind of puzzle. Can you... turn that? Yep. Now go up over there. I love this. Wolf, I'll go away, bud. Hey, Scoot, go away. I can already I'm I'm I can already tell. I can already tell I'm gonna like this level. I can tell. Oh, I can tell. Help, get me out. Who's in there? Who's in there? Who who am I saving? Open that. Ooh, more fish. Okay. My school of fish grows. Open this. Probably more. Nope, none. Open this. There we go. Good luck with the puny fish. Oh, you don't have to wish me luck. Yeah! Little dude rescued. What's up? You saved me. Thank you so much. Let's work together to find the others. Now, Peach's singing voice sounds like Rosalina's regular talking voice. Um... 
It's so deep for Peach. They really wanted to give her a deep voice in this game. <laughs> Where could they be? Behind the seaweed? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh. So my singing just kind of like commands the sea life, I guess. Just all kinds of sea life. Fish, eels. I'm stuck back here. We've got to move the seaweed. Okay. And how do I do? $5 from Saki. Hello, Maximilian. Hi. I just beat getting over it. I only played cause of you. Yeah? I'm leaving now to go watch a movie. One of those mystery screenings. Mystery screening. So like... A movie that you don't know what movie it's gonna be until you show up? I feel like you would have- I feel like you would have a lot of people walk out of a movie like that. Because what if the movie starts and instantly you're just like, Oh, I don't want to watch this movie. But congrats, uh... Congrats on beating Getting Over It. Isn't it so satisfying to beat that game? I, w I felt so very, very satisfied upon the completion of getting over. I wish I could play that game again and get that feeling all over again, but I can't. Because I've already beat it. So heavy. Oh no, our bandmate and the poor turtle. Oh. Okay, so... I'm gonna have one of these fish go that way. One, one puffer fish goes to the left, then we got one on the right and one in the middle. Do it go? Do it work? Yeah! Yeah! You, thank you! No problem, that's what I do. It's everyone, let's get back to the venue. We can't leave the audience waiting. This kind of turtle will carry us there. Okay. All right, let her cook. Everybody let her cook. Now we can get start. Now we can get the concert started. Come on, Peach, you can do it. Cook, cook for us. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. We'll make today's concert extra special. Control, oh, it wants me to look at the controls. While holding B, tilt left stick towards the fish as they swim to you. That's it? Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. What do I do? Oop. It hurt me. Did I... Did I do it? I don't know what I'm doing. I truly don't know what I'm doing here. Oh my god, she's so cute. Peach, you're cute! She's adorable. This game is so cute. Oh, okay. Alright, I think I'm getting it. Not entertained. Oh my god, marry me. Thank you very much. Marry me, Peach.
to be continued. So I'll have another level as Mermaid Peach. I think each costume has three levels, if I recall correctly. A simp? Am I a simp? Guys, would you say I'm a, a simp for Peach? Everybody is a simp for Peach. Who amongst us is going to turn down Peach? I would gladly simp for Peach. I think she deserves it. But then again, if you're a simp, a woman will not respect you. So if I simped for Peach, that would just ensure that she would view me as a simp and therefore want nothing to do with me because what woman would want to be with a man who was a simp? You know? If your ultimate goal is to get to a woman's heart, I don't think simping for her is the way to do it. Oh, patissiere. Please give us sweets. Um, my button doesn't do that. I don't have a button that does that. Is it Halloween? Is this a Halloween level? Ooh, what's back here? Nothing. We're having a Halloween party. We're giving away tasties. Ooh, what's happening over there? Let's go, let's go. Sweets, delicious and dubious, just for you. Yeah, don't trust that. I don't know what you're eating, but don't trust that. They're gonna have purple eyes. Nope, they're gonna have red eyes. Whatever. Almost. Purple noses. Uh, I don't... Oh my, they're just eating everything. You're going nuts! You can't just eat the damn scenery! I don't know, I, there's no button that I can push to stop them. This is just happening now. Help me get everything back to normal. I'll try. They're c, c, c coming. Sweets. Eat sweets. You've turned them into candy zombies. Your confections make everyone so happy. Maybe eating them will turn everyone back. I'll hold them off. Do your thing. Just a straight line, like this. Perfect. Eclair successful. Now place the frosting just so. One dollop there, one dollop here, and one here. Okay, three dollops on each side. One. I don't know if I can fit three on each side. No, wait, wait, I'm not done! Go <laughs> stop it! I'm not done! Oh. You're gonna eat you're gonna eat an incomplete cake. Let's try to do this quick. So I don't run out of time. Ba-dum bum, ba-dum ba-dum bum. This game is very pleasing. It's very pleasing, it's very pleasant. Okay, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and done. And also, 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 I was, I was contemplating this game. And you might be thinking, Max, you contemplate? Well, you know, sometimes I contemplate, you know, I get around to it. If I have free time, I might do some contemplating, I might do some pontificating. If I have the time, and I realized, oh, this is gonna be tricky. Uh, oops, put a little extra dollop on there for you. I realized Nintendo is gonna make their their walk to the finish baby games. They're gonna do that because it does seem like they like doing that. But if you're gonna make a baby game, I kind of. And maybe this is sexist, but I kind of would prefer you to do that with Peach. I think Peach is a good character for that. Because if they don't make... If they don't make Peach the walk to the finish baby game, then they might do it with something that I care about more, like Paper Mario. 
Because they've made a few Paper Mario games now that are real baby games, and I always hate it when they do that. Yay, they're all better. You've got to go help out the rest of them. I'll try. I would prefer it if, if Paper Mario games offered a tad more resistance. Definitely Paper Mario games. Maybe Kirby games as well. But with Peach, it's like, well, I you know, I enjoy Peach as a character. She's kind of, you know, she's adorable and everything. But it's like, I don't really have any attachment to her games. Especially considering there's been like three of them. I'm worried about everyone. Yeah, me too. Not, not just in the game, in real life as well. Sweets. More sweets. More! Hey, what you doing? Can I help you? Whoops. <laughs> did, did I do that? Maybe your cookies will fix them? Cookie, cookie. Cookie, 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 and done! Halloween cookies, right right here. Get your get get a big fresh batch. How do I drop them? There you go. Will you stream the Thousand Year Door remake when it's out? Oh, you try and stop me. You try and stop me! What are you nuts? There's no way I'm skipping that. It's like one of my favorite games. I'm so excited. I can't believe they're remaking one of my favorite games. I'm so excited. I'm so happy about it. It's a horde of them. This is really bad. Hand them any cookies you make. Okay. If we don't hurry, we'll be overrun. I'll call others to help. Alright, just let me start. Cookie, 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 done! For you. Cookie, 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 done! For you. Cookie, 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 done! Stop it! Stop it! There you go! Cookie, 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 cookie. Done, 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 done. I'm gonna break through that fence. There you go! Take, take, take! Um. Oh, shoot, shoot! Oh, fuck! Cookie, 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 cookie. Cookie, 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 cookie. Yes. They're gonna break the fence. They're gonna break the fence. Stop it. Stop it. Nope. Too big. Too big. Oh, shoot. They broke in. Is that a game over? Yep. Oh! Cookie, 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 done. For you. Cookie, 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 done. More cookies. I think I need to give the cookies to whichever crowd is bigger. Because the bigger crowds break... Oops. Oh, for fart's sake, don't do that. The bigger crowds can break through the, the barricades faster, I think. For you. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Hey, stop it! Done. Uh, for you. Am I good? Was that, was that just wave one? Oh, guess not. Wave one, first wave and last wave. Hats off. Hats off, Peach. Thank you for the great cookies. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it don't work no more. Patrick, what's two two? SpongeBob, two million of course equals. I'm sorry, the voices don't work anymore. The voices may come back, we'll see. But thank you for the super chat regardless. I'm sorry. I know that's disappointing. You tried to do a little Spongebob skit and it didn't work. Thank goodness the party is back on. Yep, we'll have more treats soon. I'd love if you made more goodies with us. But you know, Peach is great at making... making all sorts of sweets. She don't just got the cake, she got the whole damn bakery! 
Let's make lots. Everyone, gather round. Oh, Peach has the whole damn bakery. They're all still. What do we do? I know what I do. I cookie, 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 cookie. Come on. And now. Yeah. Any of you guys remember uh, on Rugrats when Angelica would say cookie, 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 cookie? I think that's what <laughs> that's that's what's inspired this bit. Of course, that's an old fucking reference. It's from all the way back in my childhood. Wouldn't be surprised if you guys don't remember how Angelica used to say cookie, 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 cookie. Oh yeah, I remember that. All right, well one of you does anyway. Cookie, 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 cookie. That was Angelica's favorite thing. She loved cookies. She loved those cookies. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to watch Rugrats? I cannot imagine a child being forbidden from watching Rugrats. W did you grow up Amish or something? Your parents... <laughs> I'm such, I know I shouldn't tease you, but your parents wouldn't let you watch Rugrats? So I, I remember there being like a few kids at school that weren't allowed to watch The Simpsons. I remember I wasn't allowed to watch Celebrity Deathmatch on MTV. But Rugrats? Why would anyone be... Why would Rugrats be haram? Your parents, they sat you down and they said, I'm sorry, but you can't watch the show with Tommy, Chucky, Phil, and Lil. It is haram. Let's try this one. Mighty Mission Alien Invasion. So, I'm, I, I become a kung fu master who fights aliens? That can't be right. I couldn't watch Spongebob. You couldn't watch Spongebob? These were shows that were made for kids. dollars from Tam Warren. When will you release the next wacky game jokes? Tomorrow. Kids. And was Mickey your self-insert character? Uh, tune in tomorrow to find out. It's coming out tomorrow. Come back here tomorrow and look for it, and if you can't find it, just keep looking. You'll find it. It'll be here. It'll be here tomorrow. Just keep looking. How, what, like, why would, it, why would any parent say to their, uh, say to their offspring, say to the fruit of their loins, you cannot watch Rugrats, you cannot watch Spongebob. Are we going to get abducted too? I'm sorry, I'm not letting this go. I I mean, what a sadness. What an incredible sadness to be a child, to, to have a childhood bereft of SpongeBob. That's a great tragedy right there. I can't think of anything sadder. Someone help. I can't fight it much longer. Well then, give up. Or don't. I guess I'm saving them. Every child should be... You know, Rugrats, I like it. I like Rugrats. I liked it when I was a kid. Um, the the seasons that they made before the first movie were the best. After that, it was, eh, you know, it kind of got lame after a while. I am a Rugrats fan, but Spongebob? Having a childhood without Spongebob? That's the saddest thing I can think of. Every child should get to watch, uh, you know, Dying for Pie. Squid's Day Off, uh, Tea at the Tree Dome, all the great ones. Just one bite? I can't, I can't get, <laughs> I can't start talking about Spongebob again. If I start talking about Spongebob, I'll talk about Spongebob for a fucking hour. I know I will. Aliens, look out. Come on, we need to head for shelter. Whoever that person was in the chat, who said their parents didn't let them watch Spongebob, you call up your parents tonight and you say to your mom or your dad, you say, Max, on the this guy on the internet, his name is Max, he said, you're a bad parent. The path is blocked. The star of Relax with Max says that you are a bad parent and that you should have your children taken away from you for not letting your child watch Spongebob. Do we do something with this? Yes. One, one triangle, two triangle, three triangle. 
Activates fountain, puts out fire. Ha ha! Do I go? Do I keep going this way? I can't get in touch with the office block. What could be happening? I don't know. Coin, please. Hmm. The office block is on fire. We've got to help. Max should do a stream just talking about SpongeBob. That's <laughs> I've done a lot of streams like that. Remember, relax with Max is a lot of things, and one of those things that it it, it apparently is is the kind of you know unofficial Max G SpongeBob fandom hour. I just rant and rave about how great Spongebob is. I have to put a kibosh on talking about Spongebob. I would just talk about Spongebob all day long if I could. Truly, all day long. And you guys would get so fucking bored. Ah, yes! The secret lab! This is where you guys will turn me into some kind of robot. Engage the system! Roger that! Understood! Am I gonna be Robot Peach? Young lady, you may have what it takes! Fuck yes! What's it gonna be? Please be cute! Oh, please be cute! Come on! Give me a cute outfit! What's it gonna be? Whoa! Oh my god, I'm like a... I'm like a Super Sentai soldier. What is that? Mighty Peach? Did she say hero time? Yeah, it's like I'm a Power Ranger or something. Please protect the city and its people. Well, I'll give it the old college try. Ready for the transfer to the office block. Okay, I have a dash. Is that it? That's all I can do is the dash? Eh, it's kind of lame. It's all up to you! Somebody help! Help us! Don't worry, citizen! Could it be? Are you... Huh! Ha! Oh, I pick things up with it. We need to get to safety. Will you protect us? Follow me, citizens! We won't allow you to escape. Oh, we can also punch. Punching, also good. Huh. Oh, fuck yeah. No! 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 Stop it! Don't abduct my friends. Thank you for protecting us. This level is a little more in line with what I thought this game was going to be. Oh my god, Peach, you so strong. You so strong, girl. You so strong. Mm -mm -mm. Strong, sassy lady. You hit like a girl? Yeah, in this level I do anyway. Uh-oh. Hmm. I need... I need something to umbrella with. So maybe, pick this up. Yep. Don't worry, citizens, I will clear a path! Now's our chance. Scoot! Scoot, my little babies! My little babies, y'all gotta scoot! How do I put it down? Put it down! Uh, oh wait, I use it to make bridge. Huh! All in a day's work. Just a bit farther to safety. Hurry! Ba da dum bum bum ba da da! Whoa, we have. We have Squid DJ? Acquiring specimen! Don't you dare. Don't you get back here. Huh! Huh. 
still vanquished. <laughs> Stop it. Don't get it. Don't. Don't. Come on. <laughs> Three strikes, you're out. Or four. Four also good number. Kind of weird they call her Mighty Peach and not like Super Peach or Superhero Peach or Super Sentai Peach. We're almost to safety. Let's go. Ba -dum -ba -da -dum. Oh, nope, I'm I'm not allowed it. They I'm not welcome there. I said sorry, no peach is welcome. Huh? What's happening? Oof, maybe for the best I didn't go in then. What now? The scientist. Sorry I'm late. Times like this call for my special invention. Uh-oh. Hop on the lift. Do I get a giant robot? Please say I get a giant robot. Oh, a jetpack. Eh, alright. Now go use that power of yours to save everyone! Jetpack not as exciting as giant robot. But whatever. Huh. I can't believe I ended up liking this game. At first I was like, eh, I don't know about this. And now that I'm now that I'm in the thick of it, now that I'm like halfway through, I think I might be like halfway through. Now I'm like, oh yeah, you know what? Now I get it. Okay, this guy has a shield. I think, uh, I think Miyamoto said once, I think he said, a game doesn't have to be hard to be good. And you, you hear a statement like that, and on the surface, your first impulse is probably to disagree with it, because so many, so many good games are also really hard. Um, and it's fun to get a challenge from a game, it's fun when a game challenges you. But also, there are plenty of, like, really, really easy games that I also really love. Um, like this. I mean, I, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say I love this game. I do like it. I don't know about love. But, um... Do I tap? What do I do? Yep, there we go. I think my favorite game might be Wind Waker. And that game is, you know, it's pretty easy. It doesn't really ask a whole lot of you to, like, maybe the end... Thank you very much. That is a great outfit. You look so cute in that outfit, Peach. Another banger. You got a dress ribbon. Wind Waker is pretty based. I also agree that it is based. Max, say hey, heaven, please. Well, hey, heaven. How you doing, heaven? Can you do a stage where you get all the sparkle collectibles? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to get them all. I'm already trying. The, the best I can do is try. Ba -da 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 -dum -da -da. I'm gonna try on that new dress. That sounded like Peach. That that one clip, that one voice line in particular, that sounded like Peach. The other ones, not so much. 
Cowboy time. Cowboy time. Oh, it's cowboy time. Oh, ho, 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 it's cowboy time. Cowgirl at dusk. Max, say Joy Lane. I will not say Joy Lane. That's where I draw the line. I will never say Joy Lane. You must be wild. You think I'm going to get on here and say something as disgusting as Joy Lane? An earthquake? What could it be? I do like her... <laughs> I like... I like that her hat has horns. It's stupid, but it's... It is... There is something enjoyable about it. Whoa! It's Choo Choo Charles. Casey Jr.'s coming round the hill. Come to bring a thrill to every Jack and Jill. At this rate, there won't be much town left. How are we supposed to deal with this? My trusty steed. That's how. Oh, hog tie that wily varmint. I'll do it. I can do nothing for you, son. Son, I can do nothing for you, son. I can't do nothing for you. I'm sorry, son. I can do nothing for you. Okay, jump over. Whoop! I can jump over things. I can go back and forth. I cannot speed I cannot speed up and slow down. Jump over that. Ooh, the music. Oh my gosh, this game has beautiful music. This town's dust. Well, not if I've anything to say about it, partner. Not on my watch. Oh boy, what do I do? Just keep going? I swore an oath to protect the people of this fine town. Just try and stop us. Oh, I'm gonna try. There's a ramp up ahead. Use it to jump on the train. Huh. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> so badass. Oh, they're shooting up through the roof of the, uh, the train. Am I just trying to get to the front? There must be something we can do. Cowgirl Peach here to save the day. Oh, you're here. We're gonna crash into the next town. <laughs> That's bad. You've gotta stop the train somehow. Hoji! Oh, Hoji! Oh, oh! Okay, <laughs> okay. Get some varmints here. Get out. You're not getting past. I can throw whoop, that falls that way. Okay. Make a note of that. When I when I hog tie something, usually that means something's gonna fall over. Ooh, I want that. I want that too! Thank you! Be careful with my hog tying. That you wily son of a bitch. You wily son of a gun. You ain't nothing but a dirty dog. I'm Princess Peach. I'm the law around these parts, you dirty dogs. Take that. Thank you. This game rules. This game has completely won me over. I like it a lot now. Oop, can I get that? Or is that? Nope. Never mind. Oh, it won me over. Thank you. Thank you! You don't know when to give up, do you? In that case... Dang, they got away. Here comes my steed. 
She followed us. What a good girl. Another town to blast apart. Ba da dum, ba dum bum bum, ba da. Okay, big shadows, kind of showing me. Grab that, and then. Nope, I can't get any closer. So, hmm. Music, the music. So beautiful. Grab this. Throw. Yeah, there we go. Music is so good. Open that. Oji, 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 Oji. Well, that's how it's gonna be. You're going down with me. Oh, no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Um, do I use those rocks for something? I'm get I, I really don't want to touch them. Yeah! Yes! Oh my gosh. So action-packed. I'm gonna lasso this. It's, it's all these years since Ocarina of Time, Nintendo is still using the same horse sound effects. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Nintendo's just like, well, why fix what isn't broken? Thank you. That horse sound effect was great fucking 25 years ago. Why would we find a new one? <laughs> oh my god. Was, was Ocarina of Time 25 years ago or was it longer? I really don't even know. It's the same sound effect. That's funny. Level complete. Another boss. Peach time. It's peach time, baby. Peach time. It do be a wee bit of peach time, though. It kind of is a peach time, though. You have to admit, it is a wee bit of a peach time. Bum ba dum bum bum ba da dum bum 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 ba dum. All right, let's blast open this door with the power of sparkles. Can you give me some of the sparkle gems you've collected? Well, I don't see why not. Don't spend them all in one place. Those are expensive sparkles. Let's hit it. Let's hit it, little dude. Or little girl. Are you are you dude or girl? I don't know if we know what that little character is, I suppose. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Damn. That's a spooky thing right there. That looks like a Poppy's Playtime character. Or excuse me, Poppy Playtime. God, it's gonna be so hard to unlearn. Meow. Are Mew the Peach and Stella I've heard about? It's gonna be so hard to unlearn that it's not actually called Poppy's Playtime. Mew are barely bit parts in Madame Grape's esteemed production. Try as much as you like, Mew won't succeed. I suppose Mew think you can defeat someone as grand as me, the guardian of this dark door. I'll swipe those smug expressions right off your little faces. Yeah, you want to work in some more puns, maybe? P 
projector cat. What I do? What I do? Tiny little stage. We got a mouse. We can grab mouse. Mouse turns into bomb. Uh. No, stop! No! What's happening? What? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I'm confused. Okay, wait, whoa, whoa, we got him. Inject Sparkle into Darkle. Let's say I did a whole lot there. Another mouse. <gasps> don't, no, don't. Stop it. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. You're very big and I'm very small. It's not fair. It's not a fair fight. It's not a fair fight! You're very big, I'm very small. Not a fair fight! to the side here so I don't get clobbered. There we go. It's not a fair fight, in it. Push it towards the center. Nope! No you don't! No you don't! Huh. No you don't! Bomb in the center, I think. Yes! Come on. Cookie, 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 cookie. I love that they make Peach's dress different. Yeah, you can, uh, you can choose a bunch of different ones in this game. You know, any game, like truly any game, giving you the option to change clothes is always welcome. I don't think I've ever played a game in which you had, like, different outfit options. Where I was like, oh man, why'd they put that in there? I only want to wear one outfit. Well, that enemy was something else, huh? At least this floor is back to normal now. I think there's only one more floor. You've performed in lots of different plays now, so I'm sure we'll, we'll be fine no matter what comes our way. Uh-oh. What did this be? <laughs> what is it? Yeah, it's a rug. That's the theater's star lift. I wonder if the threads and then that door were somehow keeping it from working. Oh, maybe it's accessible again because we've weakened Grape's magic by restoring the lower floors. Now we can go to the basement and other floors more quickly. Do you want to try it out? Uh... Well, you know, I've, I've been on an elevator before. But why not? I've been on an elevator before. Scale of 1 to 10, how good is this game? Uh... I would give it... Mm, a 7. A 6 or a 7. Because, you know, I, I, I am enjoying it, I'm having fun, but it's not necessarily blowing me away. I'm thinking that's got to be Kung Fu. That looks like a Kung Fu shirt. Kung Fu, another mystery one. Another another Detective Peach level. 
That's gonna be, uh, Cat Burglar Peach. And that would be Ninja Peach. So let's start... Let's start with Detective Peach, get this one over with. Because these levels are not my favorite. Do you find Peach attractive? Buddy, everybody finds Peach attractive. You'd be hard-pressed to find somebody who's not into Peach. Everyone loves Peach. Burnk. Detective Peach on the fucking case! Detective. A good assistant knows to arrive at least five minutes early. That's why I'm already here. Do I know you? <laughs> Anyway, I have a tip about a possible suspect wandering around the city. Apparently, he walks this path every day, so let's wait here and keep a sharp eye out. That's him! That's the guy! Or maybe it's him? Oh, I, actually, you know what? Not to profile. Not to, not to racially profile, but something tells me it might be him. <laughs> Hey, listen, I know the kind of guy I'm looking for, and you're the kind of guy I'm looking for! We might gain a knight up, oh, didn't get to read that. Um, I think he's about to turn this way. Hide, quick! Whoop, you saw me. Okay, 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 what? I'm just reading the newspaper! What? Alright, so we're trailing this guy. Can't let him see us. You can't see me. Shh. Nobody make a smell. And he's off. I want that heart. Well, we lost him, but he dropped something. That guy was probably like, oh, you think it's me? You Just because I'm the purple guy. You think it's always the purple guy who's the criminal. Well, in this game, anyway. Everything's going according to plan. The you-know-what will be ready soon. Rendezvous at our hideout. Make sure you aren't followed. So there's some kind of plan underway, but where do you think he went off to? The note said hour, so there must be several suspects. Does this connect to our recent case? Probably. Ba -doom -boom. There's something about this wall? No. Ah, a puddle. That's a puddle. I wonder if it rained recently. Trash can. There's a lot of stuff over here. I wonder if it's all from one of the local shops or something. Hmm. Trash can! Mm -hmm. Secret pass? It's a secret passage, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get this out of the way. There he is again! Let's take care not to lose him this time. What? You can't see me. Steady. Ah! Oh! 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 Jeez. It's like every level this game is asking you to do something different. And it's not always fun. But it's just like, it's giving you such a, such a diverse set of tasks. It's like there's always some unique thing happening. Um, the store was left a little open. Hey, coins! $8.88 from Beth and Nuts Turdwell. Hey, what's up? poop deposit anything pertinent. Have plentiful pennies. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I hope you have plentiful pennies as well. Seems like the hideout is around here somewhere. Ba -boom -boom. Look, this door has a flower above it. Uh, that's nothing. 
This door has one leaf above it. Uh, that's not what I would call a leaf. This door has two leaves above it. Okay. Oh wait, eh, that's that's kind of a leaf, I guess. Um, we're ready to finish the you know what, so it's time the three of us met up at the hideout. Is it going to rain? I don't know, probably. Anyone suspicious? No one's been this way. Maybe they went into an apartment. Hopefully not me and my little brothers, though. We live in the apartment on the far right. Oof, you and your brother are far right? You're gonna get in trouble. Um, okay. So this is where this guy lives. And I'm guessing the way this is going to work is only one of these is going to not be occupied, and that's the one I have to check out. What about you? Where do you live? Seems like the hideout is somewhere here. Somewhere around here. Okay, you're no help. What about you? Suspicious characters? Sure, yeah. I've seen some near the apartments up ahead. You, you got nothing. That's nothing. My friend here moved into those apartments up the street. I hope they invite me over sometime. Which one? Which one? Where do you live? Where do you live? My roommate and I recently moved into the place with a flower relief. Okay. I wouldn't... Is that a star or a flower? Flower, okay. So... Flower is occupied, far right is occupied. Let's try leaf. Yes! Correct. Let's get in there. Quietly now, quietly. Soon, this city, the you-know-what goes you-know-where, and done. All right. The bomb's ready. <gasps> a b -b 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 bomb Who's there? We found out. No time to delay. The plan starts now. They're terrorists. They're going to bomb somebody. Can't just let that slide. What now? This is terrible. They're going to blow something up. We can stop them if we know what their target is. Where do you think they're going to set their bomb off, detective? Hmm. It's a model of a museum. Looks familiar, huh? Alright, well we went there. Oh, yikes. These are really dangerous chemicals. Were they using them to make bombs? Huh? There's something else here. Okay, coins. Plant at with the bell detonate midnight. This note seems to be details of their plan, but it's all torn up. I can't read most of it. Hmm. It's a model of a large bridge inside the city. And this is a telescope. It's a telescope! Do you think they were looking at the stars? Let's see. What's it pointing at? I'm guessing that tower is like City Hall? A treasure chest. Let's open it. Coins. More coins. Um... This looks like a map. I wonder if it's related to their plan somehow. Uh... Okay. I'm guessing- I'm guessing the shape on the bottom right is the bridge. And the purple circle with the, uh, with the face in the middle is like their hideout. So... The bomb leaves the hideout... And goes in the it, it goes south and then it goes in the opposite direction of the bridge. But that's not very helpful without knowing the layout of the city. Look at all these bombs. It'd be a disaster if even one of them went off. 
Can I look through this again? I can crack this case. What's it pointing at? It's pointing... It's pointing at City Hall, if the tower is City Hall. Shoot. Where do you think they'll use their bomb? Let's, uh... Let's assume it's not the museum, because we just came from the museum. And it's not the bridge, because we can see in the chart that it's not the bridge. So... The city, the city hall clock tower thingy? This is an exact replica of the city's clock tower. Strike of intuition. Mm-hmm. So they're going after the clock tower. I knew you'd figure it out, detective. We need to tell the police, and we should hurry to the clock tower. Bum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -dum. Thank you for helping with another case. Did we <laughs> did we catch anybody? I guess not. We've confirmed that three intruders with an explosive entered the building. We're heading in now. Oh, there they are. See ya. Detective, we should use the lift to follow them. Alright. Um, lift controls. Use the key with the matching number to operate the lift and move to that floor. Five, nine, blank, eight, and one that's scratched out. This one was painted over. I can't make out what it used to say. All right. Well, I don't even know what floor we need to go to. I'm guessing that the joke with this one is that it's... It's six, but it looks like a nine. That nine looks like it's gonna fall off. Yeah, because it's actually a six. That's a six! Yes! Oh, this is actually the six key. Put the key in there. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. You did it, now we can chase after them. Six is my second favorite number. You have a favorite number? <laughs> Hello. Uh, I can see you. What you up to there, bud? Now that's one big pipe. Do you think it helps run the clock on the tower? Uh, there's also a big asshole behind it. I found you. Mm-hmm. Ah, you found one of them hiding over here. Well done, detective. Time to spill the beans. Where's the bomb? <laughs> not here. But feel free to waste more time here hanging with me. This guy's got some nerve. Just keep moving and leave this area to me. Okay. This machine looks very complicated. We should probably leave it alone. Hey, there's something behind it. Money. Whose money is it? It's ours now. No sign of criminals. They must have gone this way. The door's open. Now's our chance to catch them. The perpetrators could be up here. Be careful. The criminals are hiding in the clock tower. Everyone up here. Oh, I'll get him. I'll get him. Hello. Hey. You're you're not getting by me. Arrest him. 
Hand over the bomb, right? What? You don't have it? Then where is it? Talk! Good luck, chumps. You sure won't find it up on the top floor. We'll keep up the pressure. Use your power of deduction and figure out where the bomb is. Oh, he is definitely trying to trick us. I bet we'll find the bomb on the top floor. What is this? A part to something? But what? There's another piece. What could this be a part of? And why would somebody try to hide it here? Let's keep finding those parts. Let's put all the parts we find right here. Um, pieces of cogs? Of a big cog? There must still be some parts missing. There's something in here. Looks like a part to something. Maybe it's part of a gear? You're only just now figuring that out? Let's put all the parts we find right here. Oh, I see you. I see you. Hello, boy. That's a big gear, all right. I found the boy. Hello, boy. Welcome. There he is. He is the boy. I didn't think we'd find one here. Well done. Carry on, detective. Ha! You may have caught me, but the bomb is still tick, tick, ticking away. You can leave this joker to me. Just focus on finding that bomb. Of course. Can I crawl in here? I see a key. Can I get it? Nope. What's up? There are two ducks here. A true sleuth feels driven to explore any duct they come across. Isn't that right, detective? Eh. Depends on how busy I am. This gear is broken. I don't think we can use it. How can I open this duct? Okay, so this device opens and closes the duct. Oh, if you look closely, you can see how it connects, how it's connected to the gears. Um. Okay, so to open this duct, a gear needs to go here, which I'm guessing was this gear, but it's broken. Need to find a replacement gear. Can I take this one? Yes. Put that gear here. That duct is open. You found a key. What's it doing out here? I think I see the bomb. The clock tower's bell sure is something, huh? I bet everyone in the city hears it when it rings. Oh, it's something, all right. Bomb located. <laughs> you gonna you just gonna leave it there? You gonna pick it up or? Wait, why are we happy about this? 
It is literally bomb. We're out of time. What should we... Oh, good idea. There's a river right out there. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to jump or throw the bomb. That also works. I thought they were gonna jump. Oh no, they tripped? You fucking clumsy motherfuckers. Just throw it! Damn. Good job. Hats off, Peach. You cracked another case. You cracked another one. Peach on a case again. Cracking that case. That was relatively harmless, I would say. All those poor, unsuspecting fish. Well, they knew what they were getting into. If only I had been cast in this play. What play is this play? A Kung Fu Tale? Uh, that could be fun-ish. Another another dashing thief level, the stolen statue. And ninjutsu, the art of flames. Uh, let's just do them in order. I also want to change to a different dress. Yes. Vertical stripes. Yeah, that's the name of the game. That's it. Peach, you figured it out. That's the name of the game. Peach time. What's going on? Something strange is happening at the training hall. Whoa. That was the training hall. Or was that the training hall? Teacher, no! Who is that? Ha! All bark, no bite. I have failed. Is all hope lost? The master would know what to do. I am the master. There's a mountain path we can use? Please, you must lend us your strength. Yeah, open the door, genius. What are they doing here? I don't know, but I'll wallop him for you. You guys want a good walloping? You guys want to be clobbered on the noggin? What? Our teacher is in trouble? We must hurry to the teacher. Where is the teacher in here? Nope, nothing in here. Nope, nice try. Nice try, baby. Nice try. <laughs> There's a gate just beyond here. Bonk. You're not getting through here. Good luck getting through this gate. The master would know what to do. Perhaps you have what it takes. Please, you must overcome the trial. Kung Fu Master Trial. <laughs> Is this it? Is this the trial? Oh! Alright, don't fall in the pit. 
This trial is weak sauce. Is that just trial complete or what? That was kind of pathetic. Oof, more trial. Trial is not over. Um, There we go. Hell of a kick. Kung Fu Peach. Uh, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's pretty cute. Could that be a Kung Fu Master? Don't let her through. Oh, I fell. Try that again. Can defeat all my all my foes with the power of button mashing. Oh my! I can just I can just destroy everything. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, can't break that. We've got to help our teacher. We'll hold them back. You think yourself skilled, do you? I suppose I'll toy with you for a bit. There we go. Oof. Hmph, you're better than I thought. We'll fight again if you reach the training hall. I'll whack that pot. I keep collecting these coins. I really don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I spend them on anything at any point. I guess maybe I buy dresses with them. Is that what the coins are for? I will destroy your little stand, pathetic as it may be, and also the little car that you have. Can I get that? Nope. That's nothing. Ah yes, the student has surpassed the master. You took them out with style. I did. I can get up here, get these, get over here, get that. Whoop! Alright, gotta be careful. Am I getting closer? Am I almost? Ooh, what is this? Can I grab pole? I swing on pole? Yes! $5 from Cream Fan 442. Hey, what's up? Could that be a Kung Fu Panda? You know, Peach is the original Kung Fu Panda, except she's not a panda. And she was not in that movie. <laughs> she was not in that movie. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen Kung Fu Panda in forever. I think they they put out a fourth one recently and nobody liked it. Part of me thinks, you know, maybe like four is the place where you should stop. Um, Cause you can't just make something indefinitely. It's only a matter of time before it goes to shit. 
The training hall is this way. I think I remember liking the first one, though. I don't really remember that much about the later ones that they did, but I think I liked the first one. I don't think I've seen a whole lot of kung fu movies. I've seen Kung Fu Hustle, but isn't that... I mean, you know, it's, it's great, it's amazing, I love it, but isn't that more of like kind of a parody of kung fu? I don't know if I've seen any kind of like bog standard kung fu movies. You know what? That might be something fun to do. Just to like research what what the most famous kung fu movies are and then just have a little movie marathon where I watch them. Kung Fu Hustle is great though. Five dollars for Maxius. Is this Fortnite? It is, this is Fortnite. Getting the, uh, the number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we bout to get down. Teacher, hang in there! We're coming to rescue you right now! Let me get that heart. Well, aren't you the brave one? Take her out! Sorry, but you cannot beat me, for my kung fu is better than your kung fu. Behold, my top secret peach style. Hoo ha hoo he! Okay, not doing a lot of damage to these guys. There we go. More dudes, more dudes. Okay, fine. I have one heart left. Did I actually die in this level? Is death imminent in Princess Peach Showtime? Oh, <laughs> guess not. Getting all my hearts back. I'm just swing on the pole, take everybody out at once. Watch. And over here. And over here again. And over here a third time. Whoop, whoop. Makes it real easy when you do that. Hello. Are you the teacher I've heard so much about? Is that you? You want to get up? Your technique is much like a kung fu master's. Our foe is through here. Please save the hall. Through here? Ah, uh, yes, my greatest adversary. Oh ho! So here you are. Very well. Give it your best shot. Ooh ho! Am I doing it? Not bad. Let's see how you deal with this. What? Cha! Fuck yes. My kung fu was better than your kung fu. Good job, Peach. That's off. Nailing it. Killing it. Killing it today, Peach. Your hair looks great. To be continued. To be continued in next revel. Da -na -na -na. I want to go and buy some pretty dresses. So that's what I'm doing right now. 
No more levels until I spend some of those coins on pretty dresses. Oh my god, I get to be a princess and wear pretty dresses. Oh my god. Bum, 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 bum. What do you got? What do you got for me, baby? What are you shopping for? Myself. Whoa, green? That looks awful. <laughs> That's so garish. Ugh. Fang dress? Oh, I guess it's based on the uh, snake. This is probably based on that cat. Um, I think I can just buy them all. Because I think this is like literally the only thing you use the money for. Is the dresses. Might as well just buy them. This one's nice, too. Two-tone. I, I knew it was gonna be called that. Gradient dress. That's eh, it's not really that different from my normal dress. Horizontal stripes if I want to look short and fat. Uh, you're fine. You're fine the way you are. Star child character is fine. You don't need to be revised. Okay, back to... Back to the fourth floor, I go. So many pretty dresses. I love in video games when you can buy a pretty little dress and wear it. It's my favorite thing. Ninja or... Dashing thief. Let's do thief because I'm thinking the ninja one is gonna be my favorite. So we'll save that for last The stolen statue $20 from taco god. Hi, Thank you. Max. You probably don't remember me but I was the guy who spammed Crush Kill Destroy Swag on one of your streams a while ago. Oh yeah? I just wanted to say I'm sorry for doing that. <laughs> it's okay. It was childish and I regret doing it. Love you. My my dude, we do not hold grudges here. You are forgiven. You are absolved. It's the last thing I'm going to do is hold a grudge against somebody for being silly. Your God King Maximus absolves you of your guilt. Don't worry. Go forth and worry no longer. About your transgression. They're moving so quickly. Whoa. Now what? Oh, up there? Okay, okay. Got my little Metroid grapple beam. Whoa, 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 Oh, where am I? Where? Oh, there I am. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, I want that. Yes, yes! Nailed it. Beautiful. First try, too. Damn. Give it back. Give what back? The statue? You want the statue? Ha 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 Um, this is... Oh, I hacked the terminal. Hacking the terminal. Hacking into the mainframe. Can't... Can't... Oh, wait. There we go. Zip through here. Hack this terminal. There we go. There we go. I don't want those guys to see me, I'm guessing. I can turn them off. Boom 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 boom. 
one, I'm, I was one sparkle away from getting a, oh, and there it is. I'll take that, and there we go, two sparkles away. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Take that up there. Take this over here. <laughs> Just keep going. That was entirely unnecessary. Abnormality detected. You talking about me? Because I don't appreciate I don't appreciate being called an abnormality. Uh, I can pose here for bonus level. Bonus stage incoming. There's nothing here. Truly nothing. I found a room with truly nothing. Oh, it goes up. Okay. I see now. I see. Ba -dum -ba, bum 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 ba -dum -ba. Pal, quit calling me an abnormality. You're an abnormality. There's the statue! Intruder detected. Is that me? Coin, 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 coin. Cookie, cookie, cookie. I'll take that. I'll take these. I'll keep going. I don't need those coins. It's not a contest to see how many coins I can get. Don't be ridiculous. Um. Whoop, whoop. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, shoot. Breaking through the damn glass. Fuck yeah. Okay, where from here? This way? Um, anything this way? I guess not. I'm gonna go back. Oh, pipe. Mask, lend me a- is that what my name is? Mask? I want to get the golden statue out of here. If we could just move the crane... I'll hack into the terminal! Yes. There you go. Hmm. Looks like we need to open the hatch first. How do I do that? How do I open the hatch? Is this something? Yes. This opens hatch, yeah. Yes. Thief detected, uh-oh. Get that. You did it. Requesting reinforcements. Get, get, get out of my face. And you too. Mission failed? Initiating self-destruct sequence now? Does that mean I failed? Or does that mean the bad guys failed? Let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let me get the heck out of Dodge. All areas locking down. Whoa! Oh yeah. Oh yeah, peach time. Oh yeah, peach time! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. peach time! Oh, sliding on the damn ground! Fuck yes! It is so peach time. It is so fucking peach time. What did I say this game was a six? I think it just went from a six up to a seven. Or from a seven to a 7.5. I don't know about eight. 
The stolen statue. Oof, oof, I was so close. I missed one gem. Just so close. All right, one more level. One more level and then we'll call it quits for the day. Damn, he didn't get that last one. I know. I was so close. Maybe I can go back and 100% this game sometime. Probably not on stream, but... Because I don't know how much fun that would be to watch, but, you know. It'll always be there. The game's not going away. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. Nope, never mind. Swallowed it. Ninjutsu, the art of flames. Showtime. Oh, it's showtime. Oh, it's showtime. Brrrm. Brrrm. Come on, hit me with it. There we go. Come on. What is that sound? Oh, those are good guys. Never mind. You're good guys. Won't hurt you. Our castle has been taken from us. What are the controls for ninja again? Do I just... Okay. So, to, to bring up my little mirror thing, I just push up against a wall. Okay, interesting. Hang on. Look. The guards are going to be a problem. They've attached something to the castle. We have to destroy that thing quickly. Can I hurt you? Nope. You log me. You turn me to log. But what if I sneak up behind you? Yes! Okay, that's good. Um, you cannot see. I am but a ninja. I am ninja. I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure I've probably discussed this before, but if you want to see, perhaps... There's no way I haven't discussed this. There's no, It's not even in the realm of possibility. But if you want to see, like, the cringiest video that you've ever seen, look up I Am Ninja on YouTube. Will you catch me if I if I have the thing up, but I'm, I'm moving? You won't. So that's how I can sneak past this guy. No, but then he sees me. So the ninja levels are basically just like stealth missions, yeah? Tactical espionage action. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Nope, this way. Good. Now this way, jump up here, wall jump, yes. Everyone, know everyone knows ninjas can wall jump. Surely the ninja- whoop, didn't get to read. stop, stop! Surely the ninja of legend will come. Thank you. Bum 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 ba dum dum. We can sneak in through here. They're listening for intruders. Be strategic. Oop, don't touch that. Or do touch that. So the way... Hmm. So he goes over there. Stabs, gets, gets nothing. I go this way. You zig, I zag. Hwa! Pal, you zig, I zag. And stealth attack. Can I get you out of there? There we go. You have my thanks. Well, you are very welcome, little friend. Hurry. Oh, I'm hurrying. 
You can make use of that of the rotating walls up ahead. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is take this guy out. Huh! Is this the rotating wall? Oh yeah, there we go. This is just a box. Send that guy in there. Can I jump? Yes, I can get over here. Can't go that way. Now if I rotate, that's gonna move over there. And so how do I get it out of there? I could hit that. There we go. Huh. Okay, I need I need ups. I need to get up onto the roof. So get that out of there. Get move this out here. So I can make myself Oh, but now I can't go this way. Interesting. Oh, up here, this way, okay. Do some wall jumps. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. You didn't hear anything. You know what? I'm not gonna wait for you to look away. This is gonna take forever. Sneak past these jerks. These motherfuckers. <laughs> Get the gem. Uh, ooh, hit this. Yeah. No, I can't turn this. Oh, wait, I can Oh, my gosh. This one is huge. Interesting. Okay. Jump up here. They get dizzy. They touch fuzzy, get dizzy. I go through here. Almost there. Yeah, I know. Ack, we've been spotted. Who says Ack? Don't say the comic strip character Kathy. Please don't say that. I'm not quick enough. It's it's up to you to stop them. I'm well, I would I'd be doing it if you would shut up and let me go. Huh. I get to do my wall run in. Get to collect Sparklyum gem. Oh, fuck yeah, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool! Oh! Did I fall? I'm gonna try this one more time. Nope, nope, wrong way! Nope, 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 nope! Alright. Again. I'm gonna get every one this time. One, two, three, and... Hey! Hey guys. The enemy's ahead and you should and and you show such promise. I entrust the secret scroll to you. Ah yes, the secret scroll. Surely you can defeat our foe now. Oh my, oh my, it's peaching time. Fuck yeah, now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. It's peaching time! Am I controlling this somehow? I don't need <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. It's just a giant cog or something. Um Oh I spin it? Whoop, whoop. Come on, do something. All right, I wasn't really in control of whatever was going on there at the end. But a victory is a victory. Thank you. No problem.
Once again, I was one gem away from a perfect run. Just one away. To be continued. Okay. I gotta wrap this up. I got stuff to do. Um... Does this game save automatically? Or do I have to save manually? Probably automatically, because I don't remember doing any saving up until now. Another boss door, ooh. Yep, it saves. It says saving in the corner. I am so f, -f, f freaked out right now. Okay. Now, let me see. Oh, it says right there on the screen, 100%. We have drained. Oh, and also it's 420. 420, blaze it. Uh, we have, we have, we have drained zero battery today in our Switch. So that means, I guess it must have been that, that AC adapter that I was using. Yeah? It's the only explanation I can think of. So if you find yourself in a situation where your Switch's uh, battery is depleting even though you have it plugged in, the answer is it's because you need to use the, pro the proprietary, which is a tricky word to say, you need to use the proprietary AC adapter, the one that comes with your Switch. You cannot just use any old USB-C adapter. Even though they all fit, they still just don't work quite as well. Uh, but, that's going to be it for today. Sorry, lads, that's going to be it for today. And you know what that means. It means... It's time to wind things down. Good stream today where I'm sitting anyway. I had fun. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> we had a few good laughs, my friends. Made a few memories. And although now the fun must end, I hope you see what you mean to me. You're all my neighbors and allies And though it's time to part As we traverse through lows and highs I'll keep you all inside my heart Sorry that it's time to go, but we can still share one more song. It's because I love you so that it hurts to say so long. Red and yellow, black and white, you're all precious in my sight. But it's time for us to say so long. ba dum bum 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 And thus concludes another peach time. Peach time over. That's it. That's all that's all we're getting for peach time today. We can pick this up again on 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 Friday, I think. I think we could probably get maybe one more stream out of this. I'm thinking, I'm hoping. What do you guys think? One more on Friday? Yes, no, maybe. What about Shipwrecked? Shipwrecked is on Wednesday. So Shipwrecked is going to be uh, what we do uh, two days from now. Not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. 
So we can do more Shipwrecked on Wednesday, and then we can finish up Peach on Friday. I'd like to take a moment to encourage you all to consider joining my Patreon, which now is over 10 years of updates for just $5 a month. You can, you can, <clears throat> excuse me, for just five, let me slow down, going too fast. For just $5 a month, you can get access to useful resources for artists and animators, such as source files, presets, and tutorials, and the link is in the description below. And if you're not interested in the art stuff, but you'd still like to support what I do, you can become a channel member right here on YouTube and get access to exclusive emotes in the chat. Sometimes I'm just going too fast. That's my problem. I'm just going too fast. That's going to be it for me, folks. I'll see you on Wednesday for more Shipwreck 64. We're going to figure that game out. I think maybe one or two more streams of that. We'll have to see. And thanks to everyone who joined us for this stream. Thank you so much for inviting me into your home and allowing me to spend the afternoon with you. It's been an honor and a privilege. And remember, I am close personal friends with each and every one of you. So long.